Los Angeles. Before we get into today's video, I needed to tell you guys that we are doing a live show in LA August 6th. So that's the weekend of Eras. So we're going to be doing like Eras tourist stuff, like themed. Dom is the guest. We might have some other special guests. It's going to be so much fun. So get your tickets now. We're going to have like custom cocktails and stuff. It's going to be like a really big fun hangout. If you guys haven't been to a show, they're so fun. It's not just like me recording a podcast. Like we do so many other things and that's like a small portion. Truth or drink, all the things. So come hang out with us. It's going to be the best time ever. Uh, you guys can get a ticket in my bio. Hi y'all. I'm so excited right now because I'm picking Molly up from the airport. She just texted me that she landed. I'm like 10 away. She always checks a bag, so I knew she would be a little bit later than when she landed. But I'm so excited for us to be reunited. It's been two years now, which is crazy. It doesn't feel like that because we like obviously talk, but I'm so excited. If y'all are new here, um, Molly and I were roommates. She's basically, I guess, my equivalent to like my freshman year college roommate. I was technically a freshman year college roommate, which went to fit them that year. We both moved out to LA together when I was 17, she was 18. So I'm very excited. Oh my gosh, we're doing the whole the whole weekend. It's hot this weekend, so I feel really bad because every time Molly comes to Texas, it's hot, like it's in the summer, so. <laughs> so anyways, if y'all are new here, subscribe. It's gonna be a really good week. Guys, look who's here. Okay, I don't know if it's my turn, but I'm, oh, they're waving me. We're at Sprouts. We're at Sprouts, straight from DFW to Sprouts. Is this like comparable to Whole Foods? Yeah, it's just honestly like, I mean, I definitely talk it up a ton, but it's just like my happy place. I think I'm gonna like it. And they have brands, Sprouts just has brands that like no one carries. Okay, all like the, like the cool. And, like all the like cool DTC brands. Uh -huh. It's just so special. Um, Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no, oh no. What happened? Oh good. Oh gosh, I'm getting so many texts. Um, it's just like a really special place, but if you guys have followed along in my peach journey drama, um, I have a lot of peaches now. I, I There is a happy ending and I have about 10 pounds of peaches, so we're making lots of peach-centered meals. We should watch that. Oh, yeah, like, yes. yes I saw something very interesting. The other day she was watching this six hour with Dolly Pinnerino. It was like, oh my god, this is crazy. Hi. Um, okay, wait. Do you know if we have an open one? Sweeties. Yeah, see? Down here. Of course, guys. <gasps> Look. This is really the Kenzie Elizabeth's it's treatment. Cute. Isn't it cute? I was just telling her all about Abilene. I'm Kenzie's shadow today. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Oh. Oh, the, oh yeah. And sometimes they'll be like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> no, guys, Molly and I keep saying it feels so local in here. Look at this. Is this giving it's local? Like cute, like, yeah. Like, or like, oh, no. Farm fresh. It's Farm just fresh. Just your neighborhood like market. Spot. It, like, it's just, I mean it is mine. It's, it's literally scary. mine. I, Molly and I decided we're making artichoke for the first time in our lives. I don't we know. Make, like, an artichoke dip. I don't <gasps> think people do that. We should do that. Maddie would be so jealous. It's her favorite thing. Really? Yes. I just don't know if. Oh. Here we are. If what do you know? It's going everywhere. I will take credit for this in Dallas. I really will. Oh, wow, it's See? Almost, it's almost it's, out. I know, but Sprouts always has it. Literally always. Also getting us this. Dough is so good. Not anymore. You know, but like <laughs> at the Fairmount. Okay, guys. It's a couple hours later. We've just been. Sitting around, catching up. Big development in the house. The entry room, studio room is essentially finished. This piece is literally so perfect. Sierra Belonga, she designed this room. Oh, big stretch fits. Um, she's incredible, you guys can hire her virtually. She's literally amazing, she did such a good job. I'm gonna hang this mirror and then we're gonna do sconces. It's the only thing I haven't ordered yet. I feel like the mirror should be bigger, but honestly, like, I just don't want to keep spending money. So, like, it is what it is, you know? Anyways, it's so nice because now I have storage because they basically use this, honestly, as my office. I now have storage. I need to cut this off um, for, like, my podcast recording stuff. I'm going to put, like, a bunch of other, like, business stuff and, like, whatever things that I need just for day-to-day -day work. And it's so convenient. This piece is stunning. I really wanted to find a cheaper one because I, like, didn't want to keep spending money. 
but I'm really glad that I invested in this piece and I knew I would regret it if I got a piece that I didn't love as much because I'm going to see this literally 24-7 and it's just amazing and there's just enough room for the door. It's literally perfect. I'm so happy with it. Guys, I got the bag. I've been thinking about this for so long. I wanted this one because it has a closure at first, but this one's so much cuter and it's teeny. So it's cute. so cute. And it's light too. It's, so it's perfect. Light. Yeah, Molly likes this one better too. So I'm just gonna try to get like a little bag that has like better security in here. Maybe on Amazon like or something. Insert, yeah. yeah, an insert. But it's so cute. Okay, I'm obsessed. And I decided I needed to get it now instead of waiting for like my birthday because it's a summer bag. You know? It's not even August yet. <laughs> in the next but, 30 days. Yeah, that's true. My birthday is the first of the month, so I feel like it changes things. But I've been wanting this bag forever. So cute. We're grabbing some yes, yes. margarita stuff. This I don't remember what one is the best. Okay, Molly's taking a shower, and I'm going to show you guys a little sneak peek at new merch that is launching very soon. I don't even know when this video is going up, but I'm just going to show y'all now, like I always do in vlogs. It's Texas merch. We've been working on it. All summer i'm so excited i don't even remember which color we're actually releasing in this i want to do both so we might be able to do both fits please just let me have a second thank you thank you so much so this shirt says find me in texas and then the back like look at how cute that is i'm literally obsessed with it this is a 3xl i picture these as like over a swimsuit or like so like baggy with like cowboy boots and denim shorts like that kind of vibe then we also have this color which i just i love and i feel like these are just gonna be so perfect you know i'm realizing now i need to shoot these like literally tomorrow or soon um and then the second one that we have so i just got these because we did end up changing some stuff oh my god okay so it just says Texas forever in the front and then the back has this design like how cute I love this so this is for all my Texas girlies even if you're not a Texas girly and you want to be a Texas girly this is for you I'm really really excited about this drop and I feel like you guys are going to love it um my TikTok demographic is like almost 100% Texans which is crazy I mean it's not crazy my username is literally Kenzie the Texan but I just know there's so many of like our Dallas girlies, there's so many Houston, Austin, like, you know, other places in Texas, and I'm very excited. So that will be launching end of July. Keep an eye out for it. I'm very, very excited. Okay guys, here is my new bag. I just did a little Marty unboxing on TikTok and I am obsessed. The, the only issue is I need better like bag security in here. So I need a little like almost like dust bag. Maybe I can get one on TikTok that somehow like doesn't just fall out of the bag. You know what I mean? Because the only thing that it has is it'll like close up here with this. But I just love it so much. I mean, it's definitely not fitting this vlog camera, but when I'm out and about, I normally vlog on my phone anyways, and I could put a G7X in here if I wanted to. It's just perfect for the day to day. I'll make cute like little summer fits. And then it's also perfect for Nantucket, but also just everything. Like I'm obsessed. I feel like I'll even wear this into fall, just the colors, I feel like it's okay. I love this bag, I want it in every single color. Literally stunning and perfect. And I'm so glad I got it. And I will be wearing it literally 24 7. Today I have to refill the propane tank. First time I'm using basil from my own herb garden. This is so exciting. 
our beautiful, stunning meals, guys. We have our wine. Protein. We're Protein. Protein. We have our coffees, we're ready to go. Molly's going weightlifting with me. It's exciting. Which will be exciting. It's back day, which apparently is her fave. Yeah, hopefully I survive. Um, you will. You <laughs> definitely will. You can do this. Hi girlies, we are Hi. back with our coffee. Yes. You're really doing like a day of my life. I know. I this is so exciting. Yeah, we're even getting facials at Germani, so we can't get them at the same time. Oh, okay, I was wondering. So that. Okay. I just told us, I just told them to do express hydrofacials on us. They're okay, only I was wondering what each. we're doing. Because then if not, wait, this is there for like two hours. Yeah, that would be boring. Um, have you ever had a hydrofacial? No. Oh my god, they're so good. I've always wanted to get one, and I almost got one like a year ago, but then I was like, oh, I don't know. They're really good. It makes your skin feel like very plump, right? Yeah, and like, very hydrated. And I get dermaplaning with it, so we can also do that if you oh, want. Oh yeah, I want to get. Yeah, I forgot to I'm add them, but they can do it. I actually ask you if they do dermaplaning. Mm -hmm. I do them with my hydrofacials. Okay. And oh, is even a focus? And um, it makes the experience like that much better. Mm -hmm. But it's a really beautiful experience. It'll be fun, and we're going to this like body rolling place called Body Sculpt in Dallas that I've been wanting to go to. We're booked. And we're gonna get smoothies. Yeah, we're really booked. For two we're girls who like to just stay at home. Like, <laughs> it was, it's honestly stressing me out. I'm like, I don't even know if we're gonna wanna go out tonight because it's a lot of I know, down. we might be exhausted. We might be exhausted. <laughs> After our whole wellness day. Yeah, we really might wanna stay in. Maybe we'll watch a summer itch pretty. Ooh, yeah. We grilled really good food last night, as you guys saw. And then we stayed up talking, and now here we are. Mm. We made it. Do you wanna tell the vlog about your airport experience? Your eight, the 18 minutes. Oh, guys. <laughs> Tell me why. If you're from Boston, you know, they're saying that, like, the tunnel is closed. So, like, you have to leave two hours <laughs> earlier for the airport than you normally would. It's going to take two hours to, like, go six miles. It's going to take so long. So, so I wake up. My flight was at 730. Normally, I would probably leave my apartment at, like, 615 to get there. I left at about 330 to get to where I was going to park. I... Got on a bus after I got to the place. Tell me why it took us, I got on the bus at four, it took us 18 minutes to get into the airport. So I was at the airport <laughs> for two hours early, just like twiddling my thumbs. You always have like airport stuff like this. Like, I know, and then after like I went through security, I had I brought squash for Kenzie for her <laughs> for her grill. I brought from her, from her from my garden. aunt's garden. Yeah. Fresh squash. It was so good, we, we grilled it last night. And it set off all the alarms. So the security, the TSA is like, what is this? <laughs> just a vegetable, just squash. And my, my shorts, I didn't even tell you my shorts set off the, um, Cause they were like the pockets yeah. probably. She's like your butt just set off. And she's like, and your ma'am and your buttocks um just set off the, <laughs> the alarm. She's like, you're gonna need a pat down. I'm like, what's going on this morning? I had to get a pat down when I was flying to Nantucket. And it was four in the morning because I have to like wake up. I have like a 12 hour flight day because it uh -huh. has to connect. And the girls just have a 40 minute one from like New York. So I get up there at four in the morning and I'm going through. And I like, didn't think about like you're not supposed to put body oil on before you go through security, you oh. know, because it sets it off. But I do it all the time and it just doesn't set it off. But I just wasn't thinking. It's four in the morning. I'm so tired. I think I went out the night before or something. Like <laughs> something weird. I don't even think I went to bed. Like right. it's 4 a.m. Like I go, to, I go home at three, you know. Uh -huh. And I was so tired. I'm going through it, and I had to get a full body pat down. They had to go through every single thing in my suitcase oh in there, and it was so humiliating. humiliating. Everyone's no, passing I was, like, by. So embarrassed. No, I'm so like, embarrassed. Yes. And then someone goes, Kenzie. I was like, mid. No. I was like, mid. Pat up. And oh it's like, and the, oh, sorry. In my, it was like a private area that set it off, but like not right by. And so they're like, it was so. That's it wasn't just a normal pat down. It was uh -huh. like. An intense. It was so intense. <laughs> they thought you were smuggling something. Yeah, okay. yeah, they did. So, anyways, we're gonna go to wait lift. Wish me luck, guys. You're gonna be fine. I've you're never, you're better you know, at weightlifting than me. You're yeah, better at working out. I've never out. done like a. I wouldn't say I'm better at working out, but I've never done you a like workout more. class. I've never done a class. I know, but if I was gonna take you any class, like this is like basically it's easy. working out on your own. Like, okay. it's like. You'll see what I mean. Okay. It's only 10 racks, and they're all in, like, a circle. Uh 
Like a cold? Uh-huh. <laughs> and then she just like tells you, we have like four blocks. You have one warm up block and then you have like four blocks of the workout and then you leave. It goes by really fast. Okay. But you just like go blocks, at your own pace. Blocks you're saying like kind of like, like supersets? Like yeah. it's like Yeah, multiple. like a superset. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Okay, and you're done. I feel like I and we can talk through the whole thing too. Oh. Yeah. Nice. We, I, that's why I put us next to each other. You can just talk through it. Amazing. Macy and I talk through it all the time. And I talk to Erin. Sometimes if I want to get out of a workout, I'll talk to Erin even extra. Oh, okay. Because she doesn't realize I'm not doing You're it. You're not doing it. Yeah, I get, I get really tricky okay. there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, Molly was just pointing these out. Do you remember when these were literally everything? They took the chocolate juice. No, they did. <laughs> Soul Builder, and you got the Cosmic Charlie. It looks cute. Cheers. Okay. Oh my gosh. Well, oh. Hey guys. Hey guys. <laughs> um. So I have this. This is an every vlog of mine. Guys, by the way, totally understand the Juice Land hype. My smoothie is so good. It's so good. And like I've ordered Juice Land on DoorDash a ton, and like it's when I'm like hungover and I want like a like a smoothie, and then I get the I order the wrong thing. It's actually so good. They put love into these. No, they really <laughs> did. Anyways, I spray this spray. It's like a CBD toned down spray after a workout. Mm-hmm. Finish. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's so refreshing and energizing. And it's so nice, especially when your face gets really so red. So it's supposed to be for after a workout. Yeah. Do they, Finish makes products that are like for... Like workouts. Workouts. Well, they also have like normal skin here too, but... Mm-hmm. It's for like high performance or something. Ooh. I don't know. I literally, I've been talking about them in every single vlog lately, so I'm sure it's like getting annoying to everyone. I love a good spray. Love but a facial spray. Love a spray. But also, like, my vlogs are nothing if not repetitive. <laughs> you know? It's the same thing over and over and over again. And then when I change it, they hate them. People are like, I don't wanna watch this. Oh, like, yeah. Okay, no, cool. I, know. I think people just like the comfortableness of like. Yeah, the comfort of it. Yeah. I, I feel the same way. I like mm-hmm. watching people's vlogs when they travel. Mm-hmm. I like it. unless they're with friends yeah. that I want to watch them with. Right, I just but like, like when it's like boring. And yeah, like, yeah, I like them at home. Mm-hmm. Like I don't care. go to Target. You know, <laughs> yeah. like I don't know. Home good sounds good. Like that's what I want. Guys, we're going to Mendocino Farms. We just got our facials. We're both probably still red. I know. I'm like. Red. Yeah, I got my. I finished a little bit before Molly did. I just always get right after facials, but it's the best facial in Dallas. Which my name, you get money off. We're just having like quite a morning on the town. No, it just doesn't stop. No, it just doesn't stop. We love Mendo. It's so good. I'm showing Molly the magic of these drinks. You know, start with some ice, of course. You make your way over here. Oh, too much ice. I need more drink. No, I was gonna say. Going crazy. This one. And then, listen, I'll get all of them, okay? But it's unbelievable how good these are just the best drinks you'll ever have in your entire life. Guys, I am a peach monster these days. I got the peach prosciutto sandwich. Unbelievable. And Molly loves the drink. I told you guys, it's so good. And I'll have about four of them here and then I'll take one to go. It's amazing. Big news, guys. My lemon tree has come to, what? My lemon tree has been delivered. So we are going to be setting this up. Before I even bring it in, I'm actually gonna, I'm actually gonna like, you know, get ready with the pot. So I actually got pool noodles because basically pots are too big so you can use a little hack of like putting pool noodles there and then putting in soil and then doing the rest. So I'm gonna grab that stuff really quick. So you saw my lemon tree. We both just soured. It's like 3.30 and we're exhausted. We're gonna make marks and watch the summer I turn pretty. Molly's never seen it, so we're gonna start at season one. The second season, the first couple episodes released 
today, so she's got to get caught up so she can know. Um, I got a package from Set Active, and like out of anything I've ever received from Set, this is like what I've been the most excited for, and I love Set. So the color is pink, and they the name is Cowboy. So these shorts are so cute. Then we have the skirt, which I will be wearing tomorrow, which is also so cute. And then we have these pants, which are also the cutest thing I've ever seen. Like I will live in these when I can wear them again. And then we have this windbreaker, which I will be wearing tomorrow somehow. I'm gonna find a way. I'm gonna have like a white sports bra on and then just like tie it. But I need it for like my Instagram photo at the far farmer's market, you know? Um, we got. Yeah, I have one here too. I, mean, I, can't, I use it for all the photos all the time. Um, do you think I should chill the cocktail mixer oh, yeah. right now? Yeah. So this Costa Migos salt, Ollie and I both love it. Yeah, and that is the best salt. It's un. Oh, you know what? I think I'm out of limes. Ooh, you don't use a yogurt lime? Uh huh. Do you have um, lime juice? Yeah, we can make it work, but I normally always have lemons and limes because it's just a necessity for cooking and drinking. So then we also got this William Sonoma Cosmigos cocktail mixer and pineapple smoke, which we're pretty sure is the one the guy told us that was like the best. <laughs> he was super passionate. He was really passionate, <laughs> equally as passionate as we were about the salt. <laughs> so we're gonna make it work and have a very chill Friday. Just be cozy, we'll cook later. It's gonna be good. So right now we're making coffee and marks. <laughs> just a little bit of both. Yeah, just a little bit, you know. These marks look fabulous. Okay, we have to taste test them for our William Sonoma guy. Okay, it's literally 4 p.m. <laughs> okay. Never too early. Never too early. Oh, it's actually really good. Mmm. That one tastes of tequila. No, I added like three shots. <laughs> 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 no, I more so meant like. The like it just makes it so good. good. Yeah, yeah, I know. But only we should be able to taste. So like you had a little scary. You're like, oh, whoa. It's good. Mm. It's a very like flavored drink. Yes. But this is actually not not bad. Like I thought, I was afraid about the smoke, yeah. pineapple smoke, but. That's also a great house when you get like those yes. mixers. And this stuff. and like the salt, like, that is like the perfect thing to give someone or bring to like a dinner party. Yeah, yeah. they're so good. Good morning, guys. I had the hardest time ever waking up this morning. I don't even know why. Like, I just, I don't know. I really don't. But, anyways, I'm wearing. My new favorite outfit that I own. I'm so excited to go do anything today because I love my outfit. Like, if I could wear this, like, out to the bars, I, I mean, I could actually, but if I, like, wasn't going to work right after, I would. I wouldn't take this off. I would be living in this. I have the shorts, too, so I can wear it again. The pants, love. I'll link it. Anyways, um, this, and then I have my Amazon Frilly socks that are linked to my storefront, and then my Reeboks that I love. I literally wear them all the time. My lip combo right now, I'll just tell you guys. Um, I have the Rare Beauty Kind Word Matte Lip Liner, um, the Lip Glow Oil in Pink from Dior, and then Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. I think. Oh no, this is In Love With... I don't even know what that says. I don't... Oh! Whoa! You guys are tilted! I would get Pillow Talk though, because that's my fave. So, I will link, and then I just did my, um, like, everyday summer... Makeup routine that's like no makeup makeup. It takes literally 45 seconds when I do it um, I did it in a past video in my make my life morning routines But it's these makeup by Mario powders that you have no idea you need until you get them You know what Molly do you remember that like hourglass powder? And that is literally the best thing ever but like that was like a product There's like this hourglass like dim light powder that we both love and then Molly would do it with like a cosmetics CC cream and that and our skin looks so good that like I used that for like two years. So um, that's like another example of like a product. What? Oh, it's this like makeup by Mario. It's not moved on. It's just like because I use it different. But it's just like the idea of like when it, you products like you don't even realize that you like need and then you use it and you'll never go without it. You know? I have the hourglass like palettes in my um, bathroom, but it's these like makeup by Mario like skin perfecting powders. But it's like a soft sculpt transforming skin enhancer. 
and then soft sculpt transforming skin perfector and you like don't even know that it does anything and then you put it on but it looks so natural it doesn't even look like but now I guess like because I put it looks like I have something on I don't know oh I also use super good glow screen under and then no I'm doing it all but look well, then I think it was the poppy one, and I pack it on, mm -hmm. so it looks like I'm summer, because it's very me, you know? It's very, like, summery, yeah. Yeah, but it's summery, and, like, I'm like, literally obsessed, but it looks like I'm wearing more makeup, like, actual makeup today normally doesn't, because I put, like, setting spray on. It looks good. So, like, keep it. Things, like, you don't realize that you need them, and then you are, like, at these, I will never go without them. I love them for summer. Even when I'm like going out like to the bars or to dinner or whatever, I just like can't be bothered with like makeup right now because it's so hot. Like I put this on and then I'm like, that's it, we're done, you know? So anyways, I'm drinking my coffee. It's 9.20, we're gonna head off to um, the farmer's market. We're very excited. We have to run some errands, we're gonna take us. We're gonna meet up with my friends at like 3 to get Mario's honor bar. It's Saturday, so you guys know the drill. And then my mom and my stepdad, they both have birthdays in July, so they're doing their birthday thing today. And my grandpa's doing his birthday thing tomorrow. So it's a big family weekend. Here's my farmer's market fit. It's way more chill than last time. Um, when I wore a Skims, like, body con dress, basically. But this is literally... Okay, I'm gonna hold Coco. Because we actually just match with this. This is literally my favorite outfit I think I've ever worn. Set active. I, did I already say this in the vlog? I'm like getting deja vu because I'm filming TikToks too. Reebok, frilly socks, and then I have my Jenny Bird sunglasses, Jenny Bird earrings, and I'm really just like, th I'm thriving, I'm living, having a great time. We've been laying around with Coco for honestly the, pretty much the whole time Molly's been here, and she is thriving. She's having a great time. She's loving her time here. I love you. She's doing better. I don't know if I said this in the vlog, in a vlog clip yet, because I haven't really been vlogging, but she made movement in her um, PT. She, if you guys are new here, she has IBDD. She lost movement of her back legs, basically became paralyzed, but not fully because she has deep pain and she can feel her toes. Um, March 15th, and she's been, had surgery. She's been PT ever since. A lot of the dogs can walk right after surgery, some never can, some can way later, um, and it's rarely way later, but like, it seems like she's that case. She um, moved her back legs in PT for the first time, which was in response to acupuncture, it wasn't just her doing it, but she's been moving her tail the past couple days too, Molly and I have seen her move her legs, so she's making progress. She is making progress, and she's growing into her haircut, which is even better, isn't that right? Isn't that right, Coco? Okay. We're at the farmer's market. My, I know, I got stuff from them last week. That's what's um, in my bathroom. <laughs> oh God. We went to the farmer's market and we just stopped at Cafe Duro. I love their matcha and it's the cutest place. I should have vlogged inside, but it's the cutest shop. I love it, they have great wine. Okay guys, little, what we ordered to drink. I got an iced matcha. I normally get peppermint in my matchas. As you guys know, I haven't done that in forever though. Um, but then I get lavender here because they don't have peppermint and they ran out of lavender. So then I got honey, it's really oh. good. It's so like a honey matcha, mm -hmm. nice. I got uh, mocha, white mocha, nuts, nitro, cold brew. Wow. Nitro latte something. Yeah, it's really good. Is it good? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And then on like her. They put like little chocolate and like nuts right here. It was really good. It's giving like ice cream cone, you know? <laughs> Cute. Amazing news. I was able to pick up my chow chow. I ordered it online because I'm such a huge fan, but I got to them before they were doing shipping. So I just asked to take it. And then the bread and butter pickles, obviously always the best, which I don't think I really had. I'm excited, but I love this stuff. I use it. I make it in my breakfast, which I know that I talk about the same things over and over again, but I also get like ground pork and like breakfast sausage um, from this place. What is it? It's some Chandler Family Farm. I love all their stuff at the farmer's market. They didn't have a bunch of the vendors that I normally like, we also got smoked pickled eggs. 
because, oh, you still crack them, like hard boiled eggs. Oh, you do? Yeah. So apparently, if you do this with tuna, it makes like, a like tuna salad. And then one zucchini that literally is the biggest thing ever and lasts forever. And then I also just got this beef jerky because the guy was really nice and it was good. So that is my farmer's market haul. Good morning, girlies. Good morning. Um, it's Monday now. I lost my voice. I have literally no idea. We didn't do anything crazy. Like we went home at 10.30 on Saturday. We yesterday, didn't do like anything yesterday. We laid on the couch and yeah, I don't I don't know what's going on there. So Anyways, we're going to Tribal. Molly is sadly leaving this evening. Yes. This went by really fast. I know. Well, it was shorter than what I normally yeah. have done in the past. But That's true, but it's still really fast. So we're going to Tribal because Molly wants to try the good morning drink, which is really a controversial drink, but I promise you it's good. Here we go. Molly and I are giving very different vibes right now. I'm giving bald, so. Um, no, I'm giving. <laughs> He's giving rich. <laughs> no, um, I had a dress because Molly's going to the airport and I'm dropping her off at the airport and then I'm going to a Rangers game. And I had my really cute, like, I looked like a Rangers white. Like, I looked probably more southern than I've ever looked. And it was very cute. And then I got oil all over it. She spilled oil on it. You know, you guys know how, like, oil yes. just, like, stays. Yeah. It might stay forever. That dress might be real. <laughs> I hate, hate to break it to you. Anyways, that's why I'm in a robe. So I'm just hoping. Oh my god, look. Do you know oh my god? Reference? Yes. <laughs> it says Molly, where the hell have you been, Loka? Like Twilight? We actually talked about this this week. If Molly was a big Twilight hard. That's what Twilight fans are for me. Yeah. That wasn't as much. My sister was more so. Molly was like a really big, like, One Directioner. Like, huge. The biggest. I was waiting in line at malls for like eight hours at a time. Which is trying so to meet not them. you. Like literally the complete polar opposite. <laughs> like, I could not care about anything that much anymore. No. I don't care what it is. It doesn't matter if yeah. like a product, a person. Yeah, nothing. I don't care that much about anything anymore. Yeah. Um, okay, moving. I feel like we're both pros with this. I'm moving. Rex, this is what people are asking us. Rex, where to buy from to furnish my new place? Furniture Rex. Um, I just buy a mix of everything. I kind of invest in the more, the things that I'm going to use all the time. Yeah. Like invest in a nicer, a comfortable couch because you're going to be sitting on that all the time. Versus like things that you're not going to be touching as much. You don't need to get the most expensive things. I agree. And also like another thing, a mistake I made early on is I wish I would have just bought like no furniture versus like some of the things that I did because I would buy a piece that I didn't really like just because it was cheap because mm, you and, wanted to fill up the space yeah, yeah and then I would end up like spending more money because I would like replace it over mm -hmm. time and like what I thought was spending money in the long run ended up and just like money. if you're moving into your first apartment know that no matter how much money you spend and how much stuff you buy it's gonna feel empty for at least like yeah. nine months like you're not even though you're gonna feel like you're going to the store and you're buying so much crap and then you put it all away and you're like where did everything go like but my place still looks empty it takes a while to fill up a space and actually make it feel like a home if it's your first place too i wish our first apartment in la we would have done furnished yeah which like our parents told us to do I and know. we were like no and like <laughs> i really wish we would have because we we wasted money on all the furniture we didn't need any of it mm -hmm. and it was just a pain in the long run and then with moving it was a pain so honestly if you can avoid depending on how old you are if you can avoid owning furniture for as mm -hmm. long as possible and then my actual favorite like stores cb2 West Ham, but these are also expensive. Honestly, like, Ikea, I, I avoid a lot Ikea of Ikea has some good stuff. Like, my TV stands are from Ikea, um, and I love them. They actually don't look... Like, Ikea has progressed a lot. I, I also know. love Ikea. The only thing... The reason... Here's our difference building. with Ikea. <laughs> Molly is literally Bob the Builder, and I am... I touch something and it breaks. So... Uh, but I love Ikea. I if just, you like, can't build stuff and you have someone who can build stuff, then, yeah. like, that will help. But... Yeah. Ikea has some good stuff, and I think they've been really, like, making moves. If you need a big mirror, like, get the one from Ikea. Yeah, all of my mirrors are Ikea. That's Ikea. Oh, that oh. one's Ikea, too? Uh -huh. That's cute. Everything that I own is Ikea, on it, like, mirror-wise. Oh. Um, but I would recommend, yeah, if you're, I, I say Ikea, honestly, until you're buying pieces that you want to keep for a long time. Yeah. But even then, you can keep a lot of Ikea for a long time, but, yeah. like, I, I like Ikea. And I like going to Ikea. Um, favorite recipe right now... Ooh, let me think. 
Everyone's been asking me about my lasagna soup on TikTok. Ooh. And that was really good. And you can make it in a crock pot too. Love Just that. like search up on Google lasagna soup and make it. It's so easy. It's like you do the ground beef and then like at the end you put the lasagna noodles in. Oh. So it's basically like a deconstructed lasagna. lasagna. I've like almost made broth. that before. Very good. Very good. Okay, okay, I'm gonna need to do that. It's like a big hit on TikTok. Everyone wants to know oh. about it. Yeah. Yeah, your recipes are a big hit on TikTok. Um, my favorite. Honestly, I've been my whole diet has been peaches lately since my peaches drama at the farmers market and I've had so many peaches. So anything with a peach. Your last five star read. Um, I don't read as much as Kenzie, so I don't. But have you still read. read. I know. Um, I don't know. It's probably that Lisa Jewel book is my yeah, last five star one. one. What's it called though? The last. Then she was gone. Then she was gone. She that was, was gone. really good. Mine. Let me look it up. I mean, for fiction. Let me think about this one. I don't even know if I've read it. I've been in such a reading slump. Well, okay, Fourth Wing was like four stars, but the ending was so good. Um, Senator's Wife sucked, Once More the Feeling sucked, Charlie Love and Clichés was okay. I think the last one literally might be, um, oh my God, The Five Star Weekend by Alan Hildebrand, which I've talked about so many times. Um, what are you reading? I'm on the second book of Akatar. It's taking forever. What are you guys up to this weekend? Molly is just coming to visit. And it was really fun, but we didn't really film the last two days because we were just chilling. Yeah, we wanted to just, we haven't seen each other in so long, yeah. so we wanted to just kind of vibe and hang out. Our favorite thing to do when we're together is nothing. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Even in yeah. LA, like we just, yeah. we did a lot of like chilling. Nothing. Yeah. Oh my God, like, our, look at my lemon tree leaves. Kenzie, when was the last time? This morning. <laughs> Go. Was going crazy. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Sorry, it wasn't as long as normal, I feel like, but I hope you understand that my lemon tree drama is bad. Oh no, oh no. Well, love you guys. We'll talk to you later. We have to go check on the tree. Yeah, we have to go check on the lemon tree. <laughs> guys, okay. No, oh, I lifted it up. So I looked at this, and look, this just fell. Oh, so we should just, we should just cut, cut that, that off. Yeah. It's not gonna, it's not gonna revive itself at that point, can see it. Yeah, no, 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 we're giving up, but how did that even happen? It just, like, broke. It, I think it was when it was shipping, because when you- Oh! Originally it, broken shipping, because when you originally put it up, it wasn't that high. Oh, you're so right. Because remember how you were like, oh, yeah. it down. Yeah, that's so true. Okay, well, that's not on me. All right, well, we're gonna resume. Here's the lemon tree now, I hope it's okay. But it did come like that, the leaves just hadn't died yet, so it wasn't as obvious. I went through like a teenage angsty era where I was like, no, like I love Texas, but like it's not for me. Like I'm meant for like the city. I, I need to be in Los Angeles or New York or whatever. And I did that and it was great. Love both places. I didn't know what I had until it was gone. You know, my dad always said that to me. He's like, you're going to move away and then realize that you want to be here and then move back. And I was like, no, that's not going to happen. And that's actually exactly what happened. So jokes on me.